Nice to see you again, Kathleen, and uh, thanks for joining me from all the way from Las Vegas. It was awesome to meet you at the NABO luncheon a couple weeks ago. Great. Thank you so much for inviting me to talk with you, and it was a pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah. It was so cute when you came up to me at the lunch and you're like, I've been following you for several years. I'm like, oh, yes. okay, great. <laughs> oh, that's such a great idea. Why didn't I do that? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I had had the idea that I always wanted to get women together. And this idea actually came from many years ago. When I was 18 years old, I had something happen to me and I thought, oh man, if I had a circle of women, this might I might get through this easier. So I founded Defining Women in 2007, and essentially it began as a networking group. So we had a couple of chapters that we opened up, and we are celebrating our eighth anniversary this September. Happy birthday to us. Yeah. So we've, I've just created these circles of women. We have nine different, we call them clubs now instead of chapters. We have nine different clubs that meet in Las Vegas, and it's just a great community of women. As you know, Felina, the power of women coming together to support each other is undeniable. I get some folks coming to me saying, you know, well, why, why, would I, why would I go with your model, right? And why don't I just do this myself? Mm -hmm. And I try to explain to them, it's, it's not you throw up four walls, build it, and they will come. I mean, we've made a billion mistakes. We've spent a ton of money we didn't need to spend doing the wrong things, um, which I'm sure you can appreciate. And Absolutely. you know, we we bring yeah we bring to the table a, just a significant amount of experience, not only in you know what the what space to you know look for the build out, negotiating a good lease, um, but also building a community and all the systems and the structure and the software and you know what furniture to buy and why and what's how do you get the most cost per square foot out of your space and how to truly build a community and keep members engaged. Oh, I could be singing memories right now. Memories. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so I know you, you get all that and and just, you know, if you're open to it, I, I appreciate you being willing to have the conversation because it's not easy to say, you know, hey, I did this and it, it didn't, didn't work out. You know, quite work out the way wanted it to, but yes. my hope is is to share, you know, hey, this isn't as easy as it looks, and having significant support is probably a good idea. So I'll, I'll turn it over to you from now from okay, here. Great. I would have considered myself a pioneer in Las Vegas for co-working, absolutely. From the sense of even the word, the purity of the word is co-working. There's no hyphen. I used to get so upset with <laughs> Would put a hyphen in I do too. I do too. I, I get very, I get very like, come on, it's not that. <laughs> and especially when people were kind of starting to do co-working spaces and they put the hyphen, I'm like, that's not pure. That's how much I prided myself on the research that I had done to prepare. Um, there were limited, there was limited information out there. Now we're talking about. Let me just think real quickly. It's like, it's 2015. We closed. Cobiz co-working face in 2000 and February of 2014. No, yes, because 15 now, 14. I'm pretty sure because let's see, November to November, yeah. So we were open January 2012 and all of 2013 and closed just shy of just over two years. And um, <clears throat> for all the research that I had done, for all of the, you know, the manifesto and the vision and everything for the co-working space. Now, I also want to kind of say to whoever's going to be viewing this that I had Defining Women. It was my business. And when I decided to do the co-working space, I was just going to try on a new thing. It was not strictly for women. It was... I was looking for the person who was in their home working within the array, certain diameter radius around my co-working space, and that's what I was looking for, and I wanted to attract them, an adult who could pay the bills. Co-working traditionally is for younger, um, you know, techie guys that are going to mess up your bathroom and eat all your food. <laughs> so I didn't want, that was not, I, I was, I did, I, I, I do know how to identify my ideal client. So I knew who my ideal client was. 
at least I thought I did and so I did all the research and I really did have it I hate to say it a build it and they'll come mentality it's so important that um, you know, I really I guess what's what's important and what I can't say enough that it is so much better to have someone be the innovator um, that that really can do the work you know we spent our nest egg we spent money we spent time we I mean it was my I say we because of my my husband was my business partner you know we the relationship was gonna dissolve too it was a very unhappy time so um, again and I felt like I was a very smart businesswoman I knew how to identify my ideal client I just did not um, fully understand the work when we are working so hard in our business we can't work on our business I may have that reversed but I think you follow my meaning <laughs> I know what you, yeah I know what you mean yeah you know what I'm saying it's like you you're you're sucked into this so who's out doing the marketing who's out taking care of things I feel like had I met someone like you who already had a model established I would have a partner in this deal. I underestimated the emotional cost, the financial cost, the mental cost, the it, just everything. It really is, it, it, in my business experience, I am now never going to venture out unless I have a tried and true model. I pride myself on being a woman pioneer in this, but I think the tried and true model is really the way to go. And I really respect and love what you're doing because in my sadness, I'm over there um, in San Diego. Um, we were it was December of 2012 uh, or 2013, right before we were gonna we were, had already told we were gonna close. We we had been talking about this. Our relationship was in turmoil. Grand grandbaby was just to be born in San Diego on December 17th. Things were rough. So here you have like it's rough and then the baby's going to be born and I found hair hub and I thought to myself oh my gosh that's what I should have done oh. and you must you were already established for a couple of years by then yeah. you know or at least a year and yeah. it was a beautiful model so I really that's you know I sort of been stalking you I'm like here's a woman who's done it <laughs> you know but I also know I appreciate and respect the work that you've put into it. So I know I'm I'm kind of talking a lot, but I hope I hope that the, the the viewer that's looking at this understands the point. It's not easy. And you can't build something, you can't have the build it they'll come mentality. You've got to do your homework and you really have to follow the people who are being successful. Isn't that the advice that you'd give to anybody? Yeah. You're not gonna go coach with someone who has a buck 98 in the bank what I tell potential franchisees and folks that are exploring this model is you know there's no guarantees in the world ever but if you step into a model that's been built and broken and built and broken and again I've spent well over a hundred thousand dollars and I didn't need to spend because I did things the wrong way you you start off on the right foot. You start off you know ten steps ahead, um, mm -hmm. and have a much better chance for success because all of that hard stuff, the operations and the systems and accounting, tying to everything, and just those tiny tiny details that, to your point, can really bog you down as a business owner, where you're not doing what I call the fun stuff, which is building community. <laughs> You know, being out in the community, really getting to know your members because you're so slogged down and, you know, trying to find the perfect software or, you know, what do I order for this and all the, right, I need to the, the right copying machine, the, the co copying machine. Because I, I was saying copying machine and I thought of even the coffee machine. It's like <laughs> the coffee thing is such a big deal. It's like, you, can't, you know, that coffee's not good. You need to have this coffee. You need to have the grinder thing. You need to, you know, you know, so we went from like a Keurig to a Quasin art where you ground the coffee before you, there's these all these little things when you're serving a community and things that you just don't even think about that are really going to matter they care about the water you're serving them I mean there it's really from the little things to the biggest expenses the internet speed that was such a huge huge expense unbelievable expense uh, yep. because you've got 25 people to 40 people in a space and they're all online you cannot have an internet issue 
Oh yeah. You know, so believe me, we've we've gone through that so many times. I've tried you, you, every router yeah. on the market. <laughs> oh, routers, utility bills. I mean everything. Yeah. yeah. And people, they, you just don't understand. It's not just about opening up a door and throwing furniture on the floor. Mm -hmm. People who are out there who are really thinking like they're going to just build it and have a few. Mm, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, that. Well, chat. Yeah. Wish I had that money back. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Good thing yeah. is we're smart women and we know how to make money. So exactly, it. exactly. Well, I can't thank you enough for your time, Kathleen. Thank You're you welcome. so much, and uh, I'm excited to stay in touch. Yes, I can't wait. So you take care, and thanks so much for reaching out. And anything, um, I do look forward to the associations. But if any of your um, any of your viewers have any questions, please uh, let me know. And I really uh, love Hera Hub. I can't wait to become a member myself when I finally kind of settle into San Diego, where my grandbabies are. So, <laughs> and I just appreciate our association, Selena. Awesome. Likewise. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon. Thanks. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye.